What's up wizards, let's talk about something that I see TypeScript developers getting wrong all the time, declaring the types for globals. Now I see you, I already see you in the comments saying, aren't globals bad? Shouldn't you not be declaring globals and putting them into the global scope in JavaScript? Well, you are absolutely right. You should not be doing that, but sometimes it's unavoidable when you have third party libraries or external scripts that are putting things into the global scope. So you need to be able to type those correctly because if you don't, they're gonna screw up the types for a lot of your application. If you these kind of tips then you should head to totaltypescript.com forward slash tutorials for even more of them there are a bunch of free tutorials here which will take you from beginner to be able to work with typescript at a really deep level but let's crack on so here's the thing that you should not be doing we have here an example which is equals window as any dot foo now why do we have this as any well if we remove it we can see that foo is not available on window there is a bunch of stuff that is available on window for instance like add event listener for instance and this is all strongly typed. This is all coming from an interface that's declared in the global scope of TypeScript called window. That's right, just like JavaScript, TypeScript also has a global scope for types. This is, for instance, how you can get access to global types like partial, pick, omit, etc. So in order to get this foo working, what we need to do is try to change the global interface for window. And I'm going to do it for you in just a few lines of code. By adding a declare global interface window foo here, what we can see is that now foo is available on window and it's fully typed meaning that it's currently returning a string so example is a string first of all what we do is we say declare global declare global lets us essentially gain access to the global scope in a file that doesn't usually have the global scope so this .ts file is just like any other file it's a module so it's not putting things into the global scope so inside declare global we can say type of whatever equals an empty object for instance and then if we say type example equals whatever we can do this in any file and we suddenly gain access to this type. Inside this declare global, we then declare an interface of window. And this window interface then adds a new property onto window. This is something called declaration merging in TypeScript, where if I declare this again and add bar, for instance, then it's going to add another thing on here called window.bar. This is a property of interfaces. They actually merge the declarations with the same name. If I were to use types here, then this would not work. It only works with interfaces and namespaces as well. So let's imagine that bar is like an external library that we have here. What you could do is add a very elaborate type to bar here and then just use that inside this window interface. So let's say bar is now bar. Now anything that we declare on this type bar, this can live inside your code base, now is available throughout your application on the window. One final note here though, if you don't want to declare this as a global, you can instead do something like declare const window and then on this window you can say bar is is bar here. We can now delete the declare global down the bottom and window.bar is still what we expect it to be. What this is doing is it's basically declaring a const of window that's only present for this file. This can be useful if you interface with your external scripts in just one file and you want to make sure that that's the only file that does it. It's not just the window that you can change to, you can also add you know things into the global scope proper or you can add things to process env if you're working in node or onto import.meta.env if you're working in vite. If you've got any questions like that, ask them below and I will try to answer them. I'm really enjoying being back making these tip videos for you. It's been really cool showing you all these cool globals and things. Obviously my course, totaltypescript.com is available if you want to uh, use an industry standard program for your training. And there's tons and tons of free tutorials on there too. And if you like this video, then please do like it, give me a subscribe, and I will see you very soon.